Hi everyone, so I have here our other new signing for 2017, Jan Graveson. Jan, how are you? Yeah, not bad, thank you. I'm uh, super excited. So Good. Right, so all I'm going to ask you first is um, when you first come over to England to start with, what was it like when you first come over and when was that? Well, <clears throat> it was in 2008. Um, yeah. Well, actually it was in 2007. I came over and done a few second halves and um, done a few practices around the country. Um and I'd done a second half at Milton Hall, got invited to a, a open meeting, um, yeah. and sort of did all right there. Uh, got got a second second place, yeah. um, and got offered a contract for the following year. So in 2008, yeah, um, it was obviously very new to me. And, yeah, um, my English wasn't very good, and uh, I just finished my apprenticeship uh, as a as a car mechanic. Yeah, and so it was completely different. Jump out all alone kind of thing and yeah. go for it. So for you, was that quite a scary experience then coming over young as well? Um, I, I wasn't, I wouldn't say scary, but it just so, um, yeah, just excited because we were new yeah. and yeah. Yeah, just, it was what I wanted to do and yeah, it was, it was cool though. I don't regret it for one minute. So um, what was it that got you into motorbikes and speedway? So when I was about four years old I think yeah. I saw this little uh, peewee 50 cc um, which we ride in Denmark yeah um, another ride Danish rider Kenneth Hansen he was uh, camping with his mom and dad and we were at the same campsite and uh, um, I saw this bike and I was uh, I had to go and touch it and whatnot and my mom and dad got talking to his mom and dad and off we went really um, and never looked back from there really yeah so talking about tracks quickly, how different are the tracks in Denmark to over here? So they are a fair bit of difference, really. Um, they are more Somerset-like, if you like. Um, yeah. Um, a bit slicker, um, mm. that kind of thing, which yeah. seems to be the norm these days. Yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, they um, they they are just sort of pretty standardized kind of thing, if you like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, it's more special, difficult, technical track in England. That's, yeah. that's how I would put it. Yeah, so um, we're going to move on to the fans' questions now. The first question is from Kelvin. He asked, after, your, after a year out, what have you done to prepare for a return to Speedway? Right, so obviously my, my, my physical... Um, physically, I'm, I'm going to the gym and I'm, I'm running and I'm doing all the right things. Um, mentally, it's already there. Um, mm. I'm I, I, I'm eager to get going. I'm I'm ready. Um, it sort of made me extra hungry. Realized why I'm I'm riding and I'm uh, I'm wrong to go really. Yeah. So for you personally, was it hard when you didn't ride sort of last season? Um, not to start with. Um, it's just sort of <clears throat> the year before. Um, I was in a team. We didn't win a lot. Yeah. Um, I wasn't always happy with the management and. Mm. Um, it just sort of was a few things. I had a, some big crashes, and unfortunately, um, there was a friend of mine, Darcy Ward. He, obviously, you all know, had a crash, yeah. and uh, <clears throat> I hurt my neck at, at sort of that that time. Okay. Um, a couple of weeks after, and that affected me quite quite a bit, really, more than I thought it would. Mm. So I learned a bit about myself as well. Um, so that was also an influence. Um, yeah. So to start with, I wasn't really really worried, but. Mm. Um, as I got going, watched a bit of Speedway, hmm. got with with other fellow riders. I, 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 yeah, I got eager and itchy yeah. to get on a bike again. So during your year out, what have you what have you been doing with yourself during the year out? Well, I met a sponsor um, who has been working for for a few years now, hmm. um, and uh, that's what I where I've been working. And I, I have not completely been off a bike. I've been riding a little bit on motocross and on the, the old pit bikes and, and whatnot. Mm. Um, so, yeah, um, that's what I've been doing, really. Yeah, so another question is uh, sent in from Vicky. She asked, what was the reason for wanting to join the Rebels? Right, so uh, obviously I had a year out. Um, I wanted to come back fresh, 
happy. Um, so I wanted to go somewhere. Um, I felt was a was a solid club. Club. Um, uh, it, it's one of the best racetracks in the country. It's completely. Mm. It's something completely different to what I've been, been before. Um, so I felt it was a, it was the right move when the opportunity came. So mm. I grabbed it. Yeah. So we're going to move on now to uh, 2017. I just yeah. want to ask for myself: Are you riding for any other teams in Europe as well? Um, not at the minute. Not at the minute. Not that you can no, say. No, uh, that is something been worked on. But if yeah. it comes through, through, I don't know. But we'll yeah. see. Yeah, we hope Hopefully. so. So, what are your thoughts then? Talking about the track, what are your thoughts on the Oatry Arena track? Well, it, it's it's proven year after year, isn't it? It's one yeah. of the best circuits in the country. Yeah. Um, so yeah, there's not much, not much to say there. Um, yeah. Yeah, just I can't wait to to ride it every week. Really, that's yeah. that's going to be the most positive bit about it. Really. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, we'll move on now to obviously the the whole 2000 season ahead. So um, what are your thoughts on the season ahead for you personally and the team? Right. Obviously, uh, I want to have the best year in speedway I've had. Um, I'm sort of. Yeah, I'm sort of a little bit tunnel vision compared to what I've been before. But yeah. Probably what, um, just mindset and yeah. Um, I'm uh, I'm gonna work my hardest on and off track to to to, to do that to prove myself uh, yeah. for myself. Um, and uh, did you ask a, a team wise as well? Or? Yeah, yeah. Um, well, obviously, yeah. Uh, I've seen on social media that there has been a little bit of criticism on, mm. of the team. Yeah. Um, but I would say to to start with, definitely our 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 aim has to be to win every home meeting. Yeah. Um, uh, but my my feeling about the team is uh, you have to give a lot of credit to Somerset because if you look at it, it's Somerset riders. Yeah. I know I'm not one. But, um, it's not a thing you see in Speedway anymore these days. Mm. So that that's that's a positive for me. Yeah. <clears throat> Um, but yeah, I think I think we can surprise. I really do. It's top riders. We we we're talking here. It's yeah. Uh, we have a strong strong top as I see it. Yeah. Um, we might not have a world champion, but yeah. uh, one day maybe. Yeah, you never know. So talking about no. pre-season, is this the best sort of um, sort of training you've had leading up to a season? Um. Yeah, yeah, it is. It's it's more intensified. Yeah, it is. Um, our, our training with another rider um, mm. regularly, and yeah, I'm I'm doing more the same things every day, kind of thing. So yeah, yeah or regularly. Every yeah. Day. So throughout the season with Somerset, will you be based in the UK, or you sort of coming yeah, in from different places? I'll be based in the UK. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So um. Talking about the team as a whole, um, do you know many of the lads in the team, and have you ridden with many of them before? Um, yeah, yeah. Obviously, I met them around the tracks. I don't think I've actually been teamed. Oh yeah, I've been with uh, Charlie, Charlie yeah. right at, at at Leicester. Yeah, yeah. Um, not Charles right at Leicester. Um, yeah. But yeah, obviously, I, I know all the lads. Uh, yeah. We see each other. Yeah. We've seen each other plenty of times. Yeah. So. So talking about the team as a whole, what do you think the team can achieve for 2017? Um, well, I think we are sort of underdogs, really. Um, yeah. We can, we, I admit we can be hit or miss, but uh, if we all fire and um, do what we all can do, um, I can't see why we can't be up there-ish um, at all. So I'm, I'm not worried about that, really. Mm. Um, have a superb home track and... Yeah. What else can you ask for, really? So, for you personally, does that make you happy then, having a decent home track to go to week on week? Um, there's been, there's been, and there always will be, I guess. But there's been a lot of uh, inconsistent tracks. Even when it's your home track, it's inconsistent mm. week in, week out, yeah. which has been, been experienced before. Yeah. Um, so I'm, I'm, I'm pretty pleased with someone said it's always been. Yeah, maybe not exactly the same, but it's been pretty close. Um, yeah. Um, year after year, so yeah, I know what I'm going into, kind of thing. So yeah, yeah, I'm happy with that.